And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Assessor Control. We're joined up here by Puppy. Uh, we're playing uh, some, you know, uh, Noxus, Freljord, Control, um, where we're based on a Trifarian Assessor, where w whenever we play it, we draw one for every five plus power ally we have and Reckoning. So if we can, if we have a five plus power ally, kill all units with four or less power. So that's what we're, we're trying to do. You know, like we're trying to play a control deck with, with Reckoning, uh, be able to clean up the board, and then also Assessor drawing lots of cards for us um, and you know letting us have a, a good card advantage. Um, the Hearth Guard, of course, is really important. Hearth Guard turning the Assessor into a five power ally itself and everything. But besides that, you know, we got a lot of removal early. You know, we got the Avalanches to go along with the Reckonings. Um, we have... Uh, Harsh Winds, which can uh, make their creatures... Like, if they have a bigger creature, we can Harsh Winds it, make it uh, zero power, and then Culling Strike. Um, we have Glory Seekers that we basically use for removal, even though it's a, it's a five-power thing, but this is basically a, a removal spell. Um, and uh, the thing... The card that, like, looks kind of weird in the deck, to me, is the Reckless Trifarian. But, you know, because it can't block, and it's like, we're playing, like, this control deck why do we have this thing that can't block but like this is a really important card that if we can um like if we take turn two off and then turn three we play reckless trifarian then turn four we'll have six mana and we can uh play reckoning on turn four so the the, the trifarian allows us to play turn four reckoning which is something that we need against some decks it's been a while since we tried this we played this about a month ago and it was pretty cool but there's been a bunch of different patches since then whoops so let's go try it again. Uh, let's go with the Noxus board. We'll play the Noxus board too much. And uh, we'll use the minion. All right, so yeah, so let's play some, some uh, Assessor Control. I don't have like huge expectations for this deck. I'll be happy with like a 3-2 if we get that. Three mana gain two attack that has alliance. Alright, so I'm assuming this is Karina Control. We don't really want Glory Seeker. I guess if they have a lease, we need a Glory Seeker for an Elise. We can probably just replace Darius for now. So we'll keep one Glory Seeker. Basically to be an, an Elise killer. So yeah, the, yeah, like this isn't, yeah, like this thing doesn't, it can't block. This is basically just a removal spell. It's basically, it's two mana, deal five damage to one of their things. Perfect. I pull the string. And they do have a lease. So we're gonna need to kill that with our glory seeker. Hmm. They didn't attack. They probably forgot that this thing can't block. Yeah, this cannot block. Boo. Alright, but at least we drew a Culling Strike. So that's good. Culling Strike's pretty good at killing champions. A lot of champions die to Culling Strike. Alright, and now... We'll be able to play the Awakener, and then the Assessor. And draw two, hopefully. The finest serve. Boo. It's basically debating whether or not to play that pre-combat. 
decided to. Now I don't really have that good of attacks. So I think I want to try to just avalanche these things away. We can avalanche and Trifarian. Let's see what you've got. Avalanche, I want to keep, you know, keep the toughness on the Awakener reasonably high. I guess I could have just done Reckoning, couldn't I? Hmm. Maybe I just don't block there, take the extra four, and then Reckoning. And I would have had both my things in there. Spider would have been gone. Maybe I should have just Reckoninged. But, oh well. Here we are. Could be Mystic Shot. Could keep Elixir to protect it, but I like getting the Triparian in play. The main question is, do I play a Nivea pre-combat, or do I just go straight to attacks and attack for five? I said attack for five, would have been attack for six. That was if they would have killed this. So Nivea means that if they have another in, uh, Brood Awakening, they don't get good blockers. I mean, they they get to tr they get to block everything, but you know we're we're killing all their things and they don't get to do any damage. So if they're trying to play more spiders. It's not going to work for them. We'll put them down to 12. If they take it all. Oh, there's the Mystic Shot. Possibly they could just go with another brood, you know, just go with the brood awakening now, post combat, and then untap and attack me with all of them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Yep. That is the plan.
don't really need to avalanche or reckoning. Reckoning would uh, make my Anivia vulnerable. Anivia attack will just kill these things. Next turn, but then they get to block with them. Yeah, they could go Vile. Yeah, that's true. Vile Feast. And then Vengeance, or the other way around. You know, they might be trying to do something like that. I can't protect Agnivia anymore. This could be bad. Their deck, of course, has Ruinations and Green of Araza, stuff like that. Especially Ruination. I didn't want to play Darius pre combat. It's bad that they're drawing a whole bunch of cards, but it's a good sign Please. of them Where are you? not being able to kill Agnivia. I can play the Darius now. Yeah, I can just play the Darius now. All right, they, they got to kill Agnivia. Here to watch the bloodshed, sir. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to. Passing. Nothing can stop me. I just fell for that. That was dumb. That was dumb of me. Just untapped and attacked. Cut him down. Okay. Well, this game's over. There's too many cards. Playing multiple of those. mentioned ruination like the turn before and then I just don't play around it at all so that was pretty dumb of me Callista Hecarim I like our hand. I like Glory Seeker being able to kill Callista. They. <laughs> she who. 
She who wanders would do absolutely nothing against my opponent. They have like Frenzied Skitter is like the only card, or like a Hapless Aristocrat, I guess. That's like the only two cards in their deck. That stops. Doesn't stop Brood Awakening, doesn't stop Isle Feast, doesn't stop Belize. Wouldn't be a very useful card. It would just hurt us more. Seven. Guess. Shark Chariot's gonna be rough. That thing's big. Yeah, our, yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of more ways to have our deck put more pressure on the opponent. Um, but that's that's not really what we're. I mean, you know, like this is. Yeah, you can play like a. You can certainly play a lot more aggressive assessor deck. Absolutely, this is more of an assessor control deck with reckoning. Um, like that's yeah. So just a. Kind of a different take on it. So they're just passing. They're not playing anything. What's that all about? Only the finest serve. Trying to ruination. Everybody does play ruination these days, but I didn't mind playing the assessor first because we got to draw two cards. Alright, well, we should probably get rid of this Hecarim. Hopefully that was a Vile Feast, because we could Elixir and protect this through a Vile Feast. But it makes sense with that block. This Reckoning could be really good. Potentially. Um, I should probably just cast it now, right? I don't know. They started to play a spell. I feel like I cast it now, and then they play something that like makes some ephemerals, and then they get to attack with those and the two shark chariots. Also, I kind of think they're going to play something else pre combat. Look at that. Even better. Reckoning. A pretty epic art, too.
Sweet. Ballista. Hecarim. You have met the Reckoning. The Reckoning has come. <laughs> Love it. Thanks, Bolt Action Jackson. Action, ah, Action Jackson. There we go. Action Jackson. Hey, Skya. Um, yeah, th this honestly... I wasn't sure how, how well this deck would play. It's basically just... Ezreal Heimerdinger. Basically just kind of thrown back to... Uh, a deck, you know, like this deck that we played like a month ago. Um, wanted, you know, wanted to play a Noxus deck today. But yeah, Reckoning... Reckoning's definitely really good against like all the, like all the Demacia decks. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. These glory seekers aren't too good against the, you know, Shadow Isles, Piltovers on all removal deck. They're not too too good at all. Die very easily to removal. All right, well, still four cards to four cards. Nice, good draw. Um, I just not play Glory Seeker. Sure, it's not great to have a Glory Seeker in play before Crimson Awakener. I think we're just gonna hold Glory Seeker for trying to use removal for uh, Heimerdinger and Ezreal. Five fives are pretty good though. It's hard to kill five fives one damage at a time. Alright, gonna play that first before the Assessor to try to maximize the Assessor if we get lucky. Alright, so Assessor draws us three cards right now. I could try to play Glory Seeker and then Assessor and draw four if that works. It gives them the opportunity to play a removal spell on Glory Seeker first, though. Probably isn't the biggest of deals. Reckoning. This could be a really good Reckoning matchup if, you know, if they go wide with Heimerdinger and the 3 1 turrets. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. All right, that worked out. Possible I shouldn't be saving the Glory Seeker. Discard Ezreal. I did discard Ezreal. This thing's gonna turn into a 5-1 again after at the end of the turn. So we want it to block there. Still have six mana for reckoning. If they do, you know, crazy turret stuff. Got rid of a progress day and a thermogenic beam. 
Reckoning, being able to destroy champions is awesome. Besides that, just being. It's just pretty awesome in general. Um. Nothing can stop me! It's worth doing this. They rummaging. Oh, I only have five mana, I don't have six. No, I want to play Reckoning. Okay. I was debating about it. I think I was going to play Avalanche. I think it was worth it to play Avalanche. With them having the one card in hand. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. What do you think, puppy? Was it worth playing Avalanche? You okay? Endure spiders. Harsh winds hasn't seemed to do anything. Not yet, at least. We'll keep the calling strike to take out Elise and hope that we draw a reckoning. I think, you know, keeping the Trifarian, I think this could be a this is a great reckoning matchup. And Trifarian's a good card to have with that. Uh two Anivia's not not really what we wanted to draw. Still would be a good. <clears throat> Still would be a good reckoning matchup. Yep. Still want some reckonings. All right, here it is. Reckoning. No. What a bummer of a turn. Guess I'll just play this random card. Turn my Trifarian back to being a 5 4. Many tribes under one banner. This thing can't block, so might as well attack. Probably should attack with the hearth guard also. Yeah, maybe not. All right, this is where we draw Reckoning. Draw Reckoning. Nope. This is our homeland. I'm 
mean, I would take Avalanche too. Here to watch the bloodshed, sir. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to. No, they don't. They don't play Legacy. People don't really play that card anymore. It's too easy to break up. We play our seven drop, our whole hand transforms. Cut him down. Nivia still counts as a Nivia in play, so we'll be able to, you know, we'll still cast Harsh Winds. If need be. This won't be a fair fight. So this way I'm taking two damage. Take two. Down to four. Guess this means that with the Agnivia being a noble one, I can't really play the Awakener now. Mm. Oh well. A new era begins. That could be better for me, because now I get I get a revived Anivia that we get to attack and kill all these things. Could be better for me. Rude. Victory requires a sharp blade. I'll cut them apart. You are mine. Do I attack with this Reckless Trifarian? Basically trade with the 2-1 Spider. If they have another pack mentality like that, I would, I want, I need to do that trade if they have another pack mentality. Empires are built upon action. Move! I should probably do that attack. I should probably do this trade. It's 
you know, we need to stay alive for our Nivea. This helps us stay alive. It doesn't give us as good of attacks, but it helps us stay alive. That's bad. Because between harsh winds and block, you know, I had three things covered. I don't really have, I don't really have five things covered right now. They have pack mentality. So please don't have pack mentality. 10 mana. I mean, I guess I do. I guess I have five things covered. I don't have a sixth thing covered. That's fine. Do I... Base goods, do I play Assessor or not? Do I play Assessor or Pledge? And I guess it's Assessor. Line up. Only the strongest become Triferi. Oh, finally, Reckoning. I was looking... Yeah, like finally we find Avalanche and Reckoning, two cards that were I was only looking for for like the entire game. Yeah, no big deal. Only the entirety of the game. So fast. I protect this place. This is me taking and then I harsh winds the 12-12 and one of these and I take two. Let's either that or do it this Step way. Away, coward. And I take one and we don't get any damage on the they who enter. This won't be a fair fight. Probably need to start getting damage on that thing. I wish I could have I wish I could have the harsh winds and the reckoning the same turn. Perfect. That's perfect. That'll do. Obviously, if they have atrocity, I die. Obviously, that's that's just how, that's just been the case for a while. I guess I could go for lethal. By avalanching first, I could do. The pledge on these two, Avalanche. Then they could do like one damage to these. Hmm. Do I want a Reckoning? Reckoning will kill my Anivia and kill these three. I'm going for Lethal. So obviously I should have played the Glory Seeker after that. You know, I, I made that decision. I should have played that first and pumped this and pumped one of these and then avalanched and then played the Glory Seeker afterwards. But, oh well. And that's why I should have done that. Watch, look for glory. Face me. Yeah, that's what. Not thinking about the whole turn, and planning out the entire turn. I mean, I kind of, I kind of changed plans after they did nothing. Yes. <laughs> I 
I need them to play something. If they would've just gone to attacks, I would've lost. Reckoning, come on. Only the strong survive. Yes. Only the strong survive. That's right, Darius. Yes. GG's. I mean, Reckoning has been sweet. We've cast three Reckonings. We've won three games. No coincidence there. That was so. That was so greedy, puppy. They probably just drew the the pack mentality like right then that turn, and then they were like, "Ooh, that looks great. I'm gonna cast that." No, because if they would have that crawling sensation, they would have played that the previous turn, and gotten two extra. No, see, so yeah, they did. Yeah, they definitely drew the crawling sensation. Because otherwise, like after I avalanched and killed all their stuff, they would have crawling sensationed and then brood awakening because they had the mana too. All right, and we're three and one. And looks like we're playing the same same deck again. Endure Spider. So we need... Man, Hearth Card is so good. We don't need these. We need Avalanche and Reckoning, though. This is good against Elise. But that's it. We should probably kill... We should probably just keep that, because Elise can just take over. No. No Reckoning. And no avalanche so far. No, oh, and we drew another one of those. Oh, I should have mulliganed the first one. There's nothing to fear. Okay, well they have a lease. So good thing we kept the calling strike. Maybe they have another Elise, then my other calling strike is useful. Oh, this is good against Thrash. Pulling strike a thresh. That would be sweet. Get out of here with these Elises. Get out of here. Alright, and this is where we draw Avalanche, puppy. Turn four. Four mana. Alright, ready, puppy? Draw Avalanche. No. Escapes my watch. But that turns on Reckoning, so now we can draw Reckoning. We got three, Aval three Avalanche, three Reckoning. Yay! No. They may be sitting there holding like Brood Awakening and like want me to Avalanche, then, the, then they get to Brood Awakening and have the room for the other spiders. That could be a thing. Champs. Charge. Ready the torches. Look out for reavers. 
So on their turn, these things are going to go back to being 1-1s. One No, Vile Feast. Um, do I want to... So if I pledge, then I don't get to do anything else. If I Elixir of Iron, I could still Avalanche. Because if they have if they have Brute Awakening, I'm probably going to want to Avalanche again. That that will kill my Assessor anyway, so it's like, why save the Assessor? But... If I don't do anything, maybe they don't Brute Awakening? No, they probably still Brute Awakening. this five damage in. Death itself can't stop me. This is our homeland. <clears throat> okay, so that that calling strike's pretty awesome. So I can set up harsh winds. Harsh winds calling strike on this thing. We can set that up. So now do I want to go and have Darius or Anivia in play? And I think Darius. Lady Elise, where are you? And then I kind of want to cast this pledge right now. Then we'll have ten. We'll have twelve mana. Yeah, I just want to. I just want to use my mana, and I want to cast this right now. Sweet, no atrocities, we're not dead. Alright. Um, so I just frostbite these, culling strike, and then attack. Uh, they just block there, take seven. Or I... Play Awakener, play Awakener. And then attack. Do need to deal with this Trindomir. Just whether I deal with the Trindomir this turn or next turn. The Legion waits. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're thinking here. I'm not I'm not really winning on this attack anyway. All right, they didn't play anything last turn. I like them not playing anything. I like them just using wasting their mana. So I need 9 mana for my combo, so that means I have 4 extra mana, so I can either Awaken her or Avalanche. Which I want to Awaken her. Sure, waste my time. Do not stand in my way! I guess we have to kill the 1616. That's a good draw. Like seven, let's see. Well, I guess this could potentially be lethal. If I avalanche, like if they have if they have no nothing in hand, I avalanche, I attack, I win. No, I guess it's not it's not necessarily a win. Because never mind, they just block here. Never mind, never mind. Alright, Avalanche is the safer play than Anivia. Because if they if they did just draw Atrocity, that does let me keep Harsh Winds available to not die to Atrocity. So it is the safer play. But it's also has their stuff like that. I was gonna say it has a lower a lower upside. Lower downside. Yeah, yep, exactly. I wanted to keep the mana for harsh winds. Darius was like gonna wreck, but not now. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, now if they draw a They Who Endure, I'm just kind of done for. Victory requires a sharp blade. They go white again, I can Reckoning. Can't block that thing. I protect this place. This is a fearsome. Yeah, we, we've we've died to atrocity for a long time. A bit earlier, but yeah, we still do. Power. Oh, great. If they don't have atrocity, I'm killing them this turn. Probably killing them with reckoning. Have that they're just not playing. Figured it out, they had Thrash. Close game. I can't really figure out what that card is that they have left in hand. The card would be. Like if it was like Grasp the Undying, they probably would have cast it that turn. Nah. I drew another one of those. Darn. All right, so we still finished three and two. We had some really good games, some real close games. Um, that was that was the that last game was the only one that we cast reckoning and lost because uh, twenty eight twenty eights are fair and balanced. Um, Crimson Awakener is a five power. It's a five. You know, it's a four mana five five. Four mana five five. Uh, helps turn on Trifarian Assessor and Reckoning. Like that's what our, our deck's about. Drawing more cards with Assessor and getting, you know, and Awakener gets you another five power thing. It's a very good blocker at a five five. Like it's a very large body. It's a good blocker also. And then again, it's another thing for Reckoning. We don't really care about like the like the one damage to our stuff isn't really that big of a deal. It would kill a Glory Seeker and a Nomen Hawk, but we can work around it. It's not that big of a deal. Um, obviously it's not, it's, it's a downside to the card, obviously, but, um, it's still worth it. Um, I mean, Ancient Yeti is like a card that, I mean, maybe, I mean, you could play Ancient Yeti, but like if, if it's in your opener, it's a lot better than when it's not in, you know, like whenever you like top deck Ancient Yeti, it's pretty rough. We saw there at like the late game, like we have a lot of six and seven mana cards. And if you draw this late... Uh, it's going to be difficult to play. This thing you always get to play on turn four, and it's kind of like our, our good thing to play on turn four. Like it's it like this fits a a good spot in the curve, um, you know, because we're we're probably not playing the assessor right away on turn four. It's good to start with awakener instead. I like like the awakeners have been good. So. 
<clears throat> All right, but there we go. So that's Assessor Control. Um, got our Noxious deck of the day. Pretty decent. The Culling Strikes were really impressive. I, I did like the Culling Strikes. They were really good at killing Elises. Um, that was something that we needed to happen. Um, but yeah. All right, but uh, those of y'all uh, watching on YouTube later on, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave a comment. Also, if you want to see your deck played on stream, it's just a $10 donation and donation. Uh, the donation link is uh, down below in the info panel for th those of y'all watching on Twitch or in the video description for those of y'all watching on YouTube. Um, just put your uh, deck code and or your deck idea. If you want me to build a deck for you, um, I will, I'll be willing to do that. Put either one of those and then what day you want me to play your deck and I'll do that. I'll play it on stream and make a YouTube video for it. All right, but that's it here for Assessor Control. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.